Hello! This is Yaw Weasel, this is Ultima, and as we have established, Ultima is the game where I just do fast motion a lot. <laughs> Let's have some fun. I'm gonna take the uh, beefier ship, which is not this one. <laughs> Do 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 do! I'm gonna take the beefier ship and go and kill some uh, aliens and see if their deaths are permanent. I kind of doubt it, but it would be really cool if they were. Time to die! Time to die when I eventually get there in hyperspace. Oh, I wonder if maybe the presence of enemies sort of obscures other things that might exist in the sector? I doubt it, but maybe that would be something, I guess. <laughs> Come on, jerk faces. There you are. Remember how this is a space combat game occasionally? <laughs> I certainly didn't remember. Oh, I missed! Take this! Get into my crosshairs! I'm really bad at this, it would seem. Left! <laughs> All I'm curious about is whether I'm actually effectively permanently destroying them. I just need to know whether they're gone for good. Okay. So if I inform here, it should tell me that there's nothing here. Yep, and there's a base to the west. Sure, I don't know whether I, I, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I destroyed him. I don't care. <laughs> okay, I have mapped all of space. I have to exit the craft before I can board the craft and go back into space. I have mapped all of space. Now... I think I just need to go to all of the bases I haven't gone to because the scan doesn't really tell you if there's something interesting about the base. It just sort of suggests there is a base there. So, for example, it doesn't even show a different scan for your home planet than it does for just a random space base. Uh, so for that reason, I'm going to go and check out every base. Period? <laughs> I guess that's what I'm going to do. Uh, but only after smashing up my ship a bit, apparently. There we go. And still, in fast motion until I find one that's actually interesting. <laughs> apparently the shuttle can hyperjump! I was so sure that the shuttle couldn't hyperjump. I was a hundred percent sure that the shuttle could not hyper jump. Okay. Exciting space battle! So exciting, that was pretty lame. <laughs> More exciting space battle! Conveniently, it just aimed for my crosshairs. Inconveniently, I'm using a really bad ship for this. Okay, so I've killed all the enemies here. Good. I don't know, I feel like the only thing I know I can do is go around killing some enemies for Hyucks. But they don't seem to stay dead. Oh, maybe they move around. Oh god, maybe they move around. <laughs> I'm horrified by the notion that maybe they move around. 
I should have gotten... I should have left, uh, the, this view and checked out what was going on in that area. Take this, space jerks! I have a ship with lots of shields. Firepower seems equivalent to all of the other ships, but the shields are pretty good. You'd think of how slow this is, that it would be pretty much impossible to lose. And I haven't taken a hit this time, so I guess <laughs> that's working out. Yeah, their hitbox is just a square. That's very good. <laughs> okay. Let me just... No, that's not what I wanted to do. Let me just waste some fuel for no reason. Let me just view change and check if there's anything interesting here. I don't think there's ever going to be anything interesting here. Hmm. More space jerks! Literally just gonna kill all the space jerks, and occasionally... Oh, no. I was just about to say, occasionally go and save, but what if every time you go back to the planet, it forgets all of your progress? Wouldn't that be unsurprising for a game of this era? What if everything about which aliens are dead and which ones aren't is saved only in variables in the basic program that is the space simulator part of this game? I think I've just solved it. <laughs> I think I've just solved it. I think I've just solved it. I'm not happy to have solved it, but I think I've just solved it. I think the reason I was- so I was confused because I thought that some enemies had randomly revived themselves. I think it's because I landed, saved, and then went back into space. I think the space part of this game needs to be completed in one fell swoop. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. So I'm gonna do that! Let's kill some space jerks! Shouldn't be too difficult. Now that I know what I'm doing. Space jerks! Luckily, there's always three space jerks. Where's the third space jerk? There you are! So basically, as long as I don't get stupid with fuel, I should be great. Okay, I need to go space south from here. Good, good, we're destroying space jerks, and the fact that Speclad hasn't said anything about my being wrong about uh, the reason why enemies seemed to respawn suggests that I was right and enemies aren't respawning, they were just reloading. Invasion of the Space Jerks! Come here, you! Man, doing this without the 5,000 shield would be really unpleasant. <laughs> I mean, doable. You just have to go to a lot more bases in between. Okay, no more space jerks here. Onwards to the next space base, and then to the next nest of space jerks. More space jerks! 
For those who are not uh, intimately familiar, this episode is definitely just Space Jerks. <laughs> this is the game we're playing now. It's called Invasion of the Space Jerks, and actually I'm invading them, just to be abundantly clear. <laughs> this is probably their homeland, as it were. I'm now a space ace! Great! I like being a space ace! Does that mean anything? I know somewhere it said I had to... something about space ace. I'm now a space ace again! Two times the space ace. Really wish I had assumed at some point when it said the word space ace that there was a meaning to that. But instead, I just assumed... I don't know. <laughs> so what have I gained by becoming a space ace? I don't want to leave space. Ah, <laughs> no! <laughs> no! All I know is that I am, as Speckman and Chad is now saying, spacier and acier than ever before. Ah. At more space jerks! <laughs> Speclad in chat suggests that becoming a space ace means I'm done with space. I'm just gonna check whether every single enemy I kill says I'm a space ace? Yeah. So the fact that it keeps on repeating that really suggests that that's behaving like a quest element. And so I was starting to think something similar. I was just afraid to leave space in case some kind of progress was tied up in it. But in that case, I think I'm gonna go hang out on Earth. You know, Earth. Frickin' sucks. Let us land! At maximum speed! Donk. Okay. We're back on Space Earth. Wow! Look at how little gold we have! I think it cost a thousand every time I sat at a base. <laughs> oh boy! I mean, it's fine. It doesn't really matter. Now, what do I... oops. The, the... I mean, I've got all sorts of gems. I guess the... yeah, the king said I had to go to space. The king didn't really say that the, uh, time machine was in space. Nothing has really suggested where the time machine is, so I think I'm just gonna go get drunk. The city of Wheeler! You know, the space base of Wheeler! I should go back in time. Yeah, I know that. I know I should go back in time. I should go back in time. Mondain the wizard created an evil gem. With this gem, he is immortal and cannot be defeated. The quest of Ultima is to traverse the lands in search of a time machine. Upon finding such a device, you should go back in time to the days before Mondain created the evil gem and destroy him before its creation. Before it is creation. If you do this, you will save the universe and win the game. Well, that's very helpful, but I kind of don't get it. <laughs> I don't know where the time machine is. I really thought the time machine was in space. I have all the gems I need to activate the time machine. God, I wonder if the time machine is in one of the frickin', uh, caves. Well, Speclad in chat suggests I murder everyone in, uh, in town, so yeah, let's do that. Damage three! Oh, what? I killed the guard? I didn't even know you could kill guards! I thought it was like... Some joke, basically, that the guards were indes- Oh my god, you can murder guards! They're not indestructible! I thought they were... 
I thought they were indestructible. They're weak. Wow. Wow, look at this. I'm an absurd murderer. Oh, this is great. This is great. Thank you, Spec Lad, for suggesting I should murder everyone. I and no, I didn't think that it was important either. I just didn't realize it would let me. Well, now that I've murdered all the guards. Bye, wench. Bye, merchant. There's nothing in the pub to steal. With no guards, I can steal as much of everything as I could possibly want. There's nothing in the magic shop to steal? I can't steal magic? Okay. I'm not running low on food, but you exist inconveniently at me. This is a good game for learning lessons. Oh no, I was caught! <laughs> By whom? <laughs> I've murdered all the guards! Oh, so the fact that I'm already caught means that I just... I can't steal anything because I'm, I'm pre-caught? Hi, bard. How did I miss the bard so much? Was he dodging my blaster? I think I am going to kill everyone, but uh, I'm not going to be able to steal anything. That was the only purpose to murdering everyone here. What do you mean I was caught? I wasn't caught. I have killed everyone. They're all dead. They're all dead and no one caught me because they're all dead. I just want to make that abundantly clear. They are all dead. I like this view. This is nice. For next time. Until then, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, you can help decide what I play next at yallweasel.com slash poll. Cheers from Yallweasel. Okay. I was caught by my own conscience! <laughs>